There's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. More's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Nova Corps. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. All I hear is noise. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. No flarkin' way. I heard jellies. It doesn't matter who's right. We can't trust the Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. <clears throat> okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shintari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. Something isn't right. There's something we're supposed to do. I'm with Groot. With Shatari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to gloat. It's like Gamora said. Something's messing with us. Remember? 
Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fight them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Nice one, Peter! Let's go! It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. It's the fog. They're just sounds. And it's just a coincidence they sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. I definitely hear more of Hellbender's goons. Real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. It's the fog. They're just sounds. And it's just a coincidence. They sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. Shh. What do you mean, shh? That's right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The Fog Entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. We're all still alive. That's super rare! Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense? If this fog monster is a bad thing to fear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure tracks, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. But no. The one time she gives a definite answer.
one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Give us something to walk on, will ya? How do you know we're getting closer? The lies inside Green Meanie's mind are starting to act up. They're afraid. Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save that and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Uh-oh. You hear that? No. What is it? Rushing water. Lots of it. Oh, and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Will. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. I am Careful! Who cares if it was a good speech? Ouch! Sorry about that! Bob's away, Rocket!
go, go, go. Mantis, why didn't it work? You have to finish the job! Where's Rocket? <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very. Very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. I think Drax is trying to say something. Oh yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for? Something sad and sulking. Licking lingering wounds. If it's here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. You're kidding. Even with our prize negotiator over here? In a very small, fractured universe, Star Guy ends up being as charming as he thinks he is. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking Cave of Doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks! The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. Exactly. We can trust her. That's not always true, but this time? Yes. I think I'm one of the good ones. I am Groot. How am I brave? So, I went through some water. Big deal. I am Groot. No, my thing with water is stupid, and I know it. I hate the creep for doing this to me. Can we drop it now? Anybody else feel that? We're here. 
Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. So this Drax fix we're looking for, how much can we fix? What do you mean? Like, can we give him the ability to understand sarcasm or respect personal space? Oh, I can think of a few words we can remove from his vocabulary. But then he wouldn't be Drax. So you're saying there's no downside? Tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Hey guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsaw? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course.
go away. Let, let's talk about... Th what the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Mantis, how are we supposed to find Drax? Yeah! Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... Downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. <laughs> 